Hi, how are you? It's been a while since I connected with you on YouTube and uh, I thought it's a good idea to uh, let you know what I was working on during this time. A lot of you have asked me on in the comments and you know on personal messages as to what I am up to and uh, I was all busy during this time making a a course and uh, I made a course on financial modeling and uh, that's a practical skill you know if, uh, for a lot of professions and uh, I happen to do a lot of financial modeling in my life and I thought let me create this during the downtime you know when you get some time off work so I created that and that's why I was a little absent from YouTube all this while but then I thought you know I don't have a commercial angle to this course so I just you know uh, made it free and put it on a platform so that any of you who would want to you know go through it learn financial modeling can do so very easily so I'll definitely leave a link to the course in the description of this video so that you can log in uh, create an account and do the course for free and uh, that was what was keeping me busy during this time because you know if I remember my studies not a lot of courses were on financial modeling in fact none of them and uh, it's such an important skill be, be it for an investment banker for an investment researcher for an equity research guy for anybody who wants to be an investment banker or you know you can be in um, consulting you know financial modeling is really important but nobody te teaches it in formal education so I thought it's best I take I make use of this downtime, create something good for all of you and uh, make it available. Otherwise things have been okay uh, but you know we are at a stage where Corona is starting to be at its you know worst. Uh, the cases are increasing day in and day out as you must be knowing and uh, you know we are not you know far from uh, reaching a mass scale kind of a pandemic in India as well. In the beginning, you know, we were hearing people who we don't know about were dying and slowly and sudden, steadily, you know, the death toll is rising. You now hear of people you know, you have been neighbors with, you have been friends with, uh, suffering from the disease and their, their parents, their distant relatives, you know. And whenever you lose a neighbor, somebody is losing a family member or you lose a friend, somebody is losing a husband, a wife, you know. So things are tough and they are getting worse. That's, you know, uh, the worst part. And um, this is far from getting over. And uh, the only thing we can do is, you know, keep ourselves safe within our homes. Don't think from a very commercial point of view. Don't think from a business point of view at this point of time. In case you are losing something on the other aspects, don't be so worried. It's important to, to play your part in not bringing this disease home and in case it reaches your home, how to best protect others and also how to treat the one who is suffering from the disease. Also, it's important, you know, to not make it a social taboo, which, you know, uh, happens so easily in Indian societies. We don't have to treat a patient like someone who has done something criminal and it's very important to care for them while maintaining the distance, while self-isolating them and others in the same vicinity, in the same home. Uh, people often don't want to even disclose they have a disease because of this taboo nature of you know treatment in the society. So it's important you know to not feel bad about someone having it or you know stay uh, you stay away from that person that's okay but don't create rumors around it don't really you know judge that person because he got that you know corona from somewhere it's it's a virus it's a viral you know it's like other viral of course it's more deadly but you know that person has done nothing wrong it's not something that uh, is because of that person's activities maybe he was less careful maybe maybe in some cases doesn't really uh, have to be the case that he was less careful he might have contracted it from anywhere so i think it's important to 
be more supportive and caring as a society and also to think of others as human beings uh, maybe they are suffering or they are not suffering either case you have to treat them as human beings and once they recover also you know they are it's recovered so you have to treat them normally you have to treat them like they are one of you and uh, like they are full healthy and hearty you know it, it's just normal communication and normal relationships needs to need to come back so this is something i've observed a lot of people treat corona people like untouchables like the caste system of the past that should not be the case of course you maintain distancing from them for the time being till that time they are ill but over time you know they are normal human beings once they recover and in fact they are the ones who are going to contribute to the herd immunity that so many people talk about so i wish you all the best uh, you stay indoors stay blessed and stay safe uh, from this disease keep maintaining all the hygiene and all the distancing requirements so that it doesn't enter your house and if it does it's okay just try to cure uh, the person who is got infected and maintain distancing and once they are back from it you know treat them normally thanks a lot for listening in it's a tough time uh, everybody's having a tough time you are not alone we are not alone we are all all in this together so cheer up and keep doing your best and keep contributing to the society as much as you can and amidst all this if you want to do financial modeling you have a free course which i am providing you a link to thank you thank you very much